As January comes to an end, stock prices have continued to advance, with the Dow Jones pushing towards a three and a half year high. European shares are also looking promising, rising Thursday after two days of losses, as bond auctions took a back seat, with the US Federal Reserve announcement that interest rates will remain low for a considerably longer than expected period. In conjunction with this announcement, the US also declared that it is ready to offer additional stimulus to boost economic growth. The price of gold shot up as the dollar weakened off the back of this news. However, stock gains were capped as the Greek talks failed to materialise a final solution to the debt swap situation, with Eurozone finance ministers rejecting the private bondholders' offer. The ECB has recognised that it will take a hit on Greek bond losses. There was, as has been the vogue in January, a bond auction, with Germany selling 2.5 billion of one-year zero-coupon bonds on Monday. ECB statements were also a plenty, with Neuer commenting that French growth should pick up our stagnation in Q4, and Wiseman echoing a similar outlook for Germany, with a more dynamic economic climate returning in 2012. The European Union went through with its planned embargo on Iranian oil imports, with a total ban coming into effect from the 1st of July. This sanction will also ban European companies, including Total and Royal Dutch Shell, from selling crude to non-EU destinations. Outside of Europe, the Eastern world saw a quiet trading week, with Chinese markets closed all week in celebration of the Lunar New Year and what will be the Year of the Dragon. Japan announced their first trade deficit since 1980, with the yen weakening as a result. However, the continued strength from the yen against the dollar has prompted Bank of Japan intervention talks. An IMF economist has commented that the global recovery is in danger of stalling, with the IMF revising their forecast for global growth to 3.3% from 4% for 2012. In America, unemployment remained below the 400,000 mark, and durable goods order changes came in better than expected with just over a 2% increase. However, the main news concerned Apple, who reported record quarterly revenues of $46.3 billion, powered by the sale of the 37 million iPhone devices. Its share price jumped nearly 10% in aftermarket trading before slipping back to 7.5% gain. At one point Wednesday, Apple became the most valuable company in the world, with a market capitalization of $417 billion, before Exxon resumed that position by end of trading. Another big mover was healthcare company Illumina, which rocketed to above the $50 mark off the back of a possible $5.7 billion hostile takeover from Russia. The mining industry was the focus of UK equity news, with an upward movement seen across the sector. Rock Hopper reported interest from Anadarko, and Golf Keystone reported a positive update on how their Kurdistan operation is progressing. Negative news, however, came from Petroplus, Europe's largest independent refiner, which is filing for insolvency after debt talks ran out of fuel. Analysts say Petroplus's administrators could struggle to find buyers for some of its plants in a market that has long suffered from overcapacity, poor profit margins and weak demand for petroleum products amid the European economic downturn. Others to report included Heritage Oil, who announced they had been awarded further acreage in Tanzania. International Ferro Metals reported output was up 71% on the previous quarter, with Anglo-American and Lomin also announcing production output increases respectively. Now a look at next week. Data builds up to the February non-farm announcement. Monday is quiet. Tuesday sees the release of European countries' unemployment change, along with the Canadian GDP figure. Wednesday welcomes the release of the ADP unemployment figure and ISM manufacturing, along with Chinese manufacturing, which comes in early in the morning. Thursday concerns UK construction and US unemployment claims, with the main figure being the all-important non-farm figure out at 1.30 p.m. on Friday. This is initially forecast in at 150,000. An abundance of FTSE 100 companies are reporting next week. These include National Grid, Arm Holdings, Vedanta and B-Sky B on Tuesday, United Utilities, ICAP and Imperial Tobacco on Wednesday, and AstraZeneca, Unilever and Smith & Nephew on Thursday.